Welcome back to the channel today, guys. I have a mailbag for you. Super quick mailbag today, guys. First up, got a 32 gig memory card in the mail. Nothing too spectacular there, but what it goes with is slightly more cool. I got the Hero 5 Session GoPro. Uh, I splurged. I didn't use channel funds for this. I use my own funds, but we're going to use it for the channel and bring some kind of cool video, some first person video out, to, well, out on, on scene and stuff. This is fully waterproof, no housing required, and I can dunk this uh, underwater, take it on vacation, you name it. I haven't had a new GoPro since the Hero 2, since the first Hero 2 that you saw I sent up, uh, tried the, the Stratosphere mission with, and uh, actually had uh, one donated to the channel as well, but uh, I think the Hero 2s are a little outdated. I got, from Rotor Riot, I got the Beta Flight F3 flight controller. This is going to be for our uh, the recently painted quad I did that's going to be the Red October waterproof build. I decided to splurge and get this is this is brand new out. It's only a few weeks old. This has a, this flight controller has like it's a, a name brand right from Beta Flight, not sold by Rotorai. It it has everything that Beta Flight can do on board. Uh, we'll do a whole video devoted to this during the quad build. Super cool. Really happy with that. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a lot of fun. Rotor Riot actually sent me some stickers too. What a nice touch. Now the flight controller isn't overly cheap, but I didn't expect to get actual Rotor Riot stickers. So I don't know, I'm pretty happy about that. Silly things. We got a bunch of JST power leads. I think I got some of these in the last mailbag, but handy stuff. From eBay, I got myself some heat shrink tubing. Uh, different sizes, two different widths. This one, I think, think is going to be wide enough for the speed controls that we stripped down for this quad. We should be able to use this to reseal them when we've done the conformal coating and waterproof them so I can fly this quad in the rain or snow. Uh, really happy about that. We'll give it a try. Again, upcoming video, standalone video for this waterproofing. We got, I'm going to give this a try, I haven't had one in a while. We got a butane soldering iron. Uh, very, very dirt cheap from eBay. Nothing, very, very inexpensive. I got a 5 volt one and a butane one. Uh, the butane one is just really, really handy to have when you're out uh, traveling or out on, on scene with the models or whatever. I think I'll keep this in my quad backpack because uh, one thing I don't have is a soldering iron. I can't do speed control fixes and stuff on, seat, on scene. Did I not show these before? Maybe I didn't. I got uh, LED status indicators for uh, LiPo batteries. Uh, 25, 50, 70, 100% uh, level indicator for a two cell LiPo for making my own battery packs as well as some Omron solid state relays. I could have swear, I might have showed these in a previous video. We got a bunch of five volt buzzers. I didn't have any of these left. I use them with the, like the F3 flight control you saw there. Um, I just needed some more. I didn't have any. So these will work great with Arduino projects or the quadcopters for loss model indicator. And Betaflight supports this as a beeper on a switch. From Progressive RC, I got myself Team Black Sheep antenna. These are FPV antennas. That is what they look like right out of the box. Uh, really nice molded cover on them, really cool. These are RPSMA, I think. I can't see through the camera, but the standard ones that I run. I got these from eBay from Progressive RC. They took an exceedingly long time to get here. I don't advise ordering from Progressive RC on eBay. Uh, it was actually quite sad. I had to contact the seller. Balance lead connectors, very handy to have for making my own um, uh, goggles, FPV goggle headset batteries. Handy dandy. I got a whole bunch of these. These are actually kind of neat little boost converter. These are a 2 amp 5 to 28 volt out boost converter, 2 to 24 volt in, but it's also a USB input 
uh, as well, which I thought might be really handy for certain things. Um, we'll see. We'll use these in some upcoming projects, but being 2 amp, that's a good size to have. Pretty handy dandy. I got a whole bunch of other things as well that are a little different for the channel. I got some outdoor stuff and I, I'm gonna, with the new Hero 5, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna be camping in two weeks anyway. I'm gonna go on my, my yearly overnight by myself. So I'll bring you guys along. I was out of water sterilization tabs. I just carry these for an emergency. The ones I had were way expired. So I grabbed some of these from Amazon as well. I grabbed a new Static V uh, ground um, inflatable pad. I've been using the Thermarest for years and there's been some significant improvements in technology in the last couple years with these uh, ribbed style and way way thicker than the Thermarest I have and this thing weighs just about a pound. Uh, if you're interested in outdoor stuff I'm gonna have all kinds of stuff coming up on the channel. Um, some outdoor adventures and doing some tech, some, some survival stoves and various things out to uh, Oh, out of doors, why not? Glad you guys could join me today. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Uh, if you haven't seen the video previously, make sure you enter the uh, the electronics giveaway. I'm going to do that in the next week or so. Uh, you'll find that on the channel. Good luck in all your projects. Glad to have you guys along. Make sure you click a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Cheers, guys.